हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल खत्री स्टेनो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन विदाउट एनी स्टॉप श्री पांडे देयर फोर सबमिट्स दैट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एक्सरसाइजेज कंट्रोल ओवर द चेयरपर्सन एंड इट्स मेंबर्स एंड हेंस दे आर अंडर द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ही ऑल्सो सबमिट्स दैट द स्टेट ह्यूमन राइट्स चेयरपर्सन बींग अंडर द डायरेक्ट कंट्रोल ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ हिज अपॉइंटमेंट एंड टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस इंक्लूडिंग सैलरीज एंड अलाउंसेज अमाउंट्स टू एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट अंडर द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ही देयर फोर सबमिट्स दैट दिस क्लियरली अट्रैक्ट्स द इन एलिजिबिलिटी क्लाज ऑफ द नाइनटीन एटी फाइव एक्ट रेफर्ड टू हेयर इन अबो एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंटली दिस लीगल डिफेक्ट कैन नॉट सस्टेन द इम्प्यून्ड अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द चेयरपर्सन Shri Pandey has further urged that it is the intention of the legislature and such similar provisions contained in other laws that should be taken into consideration to construe the aforesaid provision attracting the ineligibility as pointed out above through another supplementary affidavit he has invited the attention of the court to article 319 of the constitution of india which also entails such ineligibility for the chairman of the union public service commission the provisions of the telecom regulatory authority of india act 2014 in respect of the chairperson of the said authority and the provisions of section 5 of the uttar pradesh lokayukta and up loka yuktas act 1975 to contend that there are such similar disqualifications that have been prescribed and consequently the same principle should be applied to construe that the appointment of a chairperson of the state human rights commission should be treated to be an employment under the state government Shri Vijay Bahadur Singh Learned Advocate General on the other hand has urged that the constitution of the commission under section 21 of the 1993 act and the appointment under section 22 would leave no room for doubt that it is the state government which constitutes the commission and the consequential act of appointment follows after a recommendation is made by the committee as defined under subsection within bracket 1 of section 22 of the act his excellency the governor then under his warrant and seal issues the letter of appointment this is not an employment as understood in service jurisprudence as that of a master and a servant or even in terms of employer and employee relationship he contends that once a chairperson is installed in office his removal is only by his excellency the president of india after an enquiry through the supreme court the state government therefore does not exercise any such control in relation to the removal of a chairperson who can otherwise himself resign from his office salaries and allowances which are payable and the terms and conditions of service are in order to facilitate the functioning of the chairperson as the chairman of the state human rights commission the human rights commission is a body to conduct and supervise all inquiries relating to human rights violations which is not subject to any control or supervision by the state government and he has substantiated his arguments by contending that this was appointment of a chairperson is not under the state government but is under the 1993 act